using F equals MA to calculate resultant force 1. Remember, mass is the measure of how much matter an object contains. Mass is measured in kilograms and is a scalar quantity. Resultant force is a single force that can replace a number of forces acting on an object. Resultant force has the same effect as all the original forces acting together. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. The acceleration is directly proportional to the resultant force acting on the wooden trolley. The greater the resultant force, the greater the acceleration. We can carry out an experiment where we increase the force and measure the acceleration. As we collect our data, we can plot our points on our graph. As we fill the graph, we can see that the points are following a straight line. Once all the data has been plotted on the graph, we can draw a line of best fit, which is a straight line through the origin. We can calculate the resultant force acting on an object using the following formula. Resultant force in newtons is equal to the mass in kilograms multiplied by the acceleration in meters per second squared. Let's have a look at an example. Calculate the resultant force acting on a water rocket that has a mass of 1.2 kilograms and accelerates at 75 meters per second. Step 1. Write the values with the appropriate unit. Mass is equal to 1.2 kilograms. Acceleration is equal to 75 meters per second squared. Step 2. We state our formula. Force is equal to mass times acceleration. Step 3. We substitute our values and then calculate. F is equal to 1.2 times 75. This gives us a result of force is equal to 90 newtons. Let's look at a second example. Calculate the resultant force exerted on a skateboarder with a mass of 75 kilograms and an acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. Step 1, we write the values with the appropriate units. Mass is equal to 75 kilograms. The acceleration is equal to 5 meters per second squared. Step 2, we write our formula. Force is equal to mass times acceleration. We substitute our values and calculate. Force is equal to 75 times 5. That gives us an answer of 375 newtons. Summary. The acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the resultant force applied to it. We can calculate the resultant force using the following formula. Resultant force is equal to mass times acceleration.